Hi guys, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to generate QR codes, which will enable other users or guests to join your Wi-Fi network without typing the network name and without typing the password. So this solution is very popular in hotel rooms where you simply check in. And then once you walk into your hotel room, probably somewhere on the table, there's a sheet of paper laying with the QR code which needs to be scanned by your phone and once you scan it you can uh, join the network and be connected to Wi-Fi instantly without typing the network name as mentioned before and password. So let's see how this kind of solution can be done using Django. Without further ado let's get started. All right, guys, so before we start to code, let's take a look at what have I done so far. So as you can see on the left side, there's a brand new application within my Django project. So it's called Rooms and this Rooms application has been included in the installed apps list already. So if we scroll down, we can find that I also added some basic configuration for the media files and the media files have been included in the URL patterns. I also created a super user. So I'm already logged in into the Django administration. And then if we take a look at the models py file of the rooms application, I created a very simple class which consists of one field currently and this field is name. And we also have commented out the QR code and we will bring it in shortly. So the idea is to store the image in this image field. For using image field, uh, we need to install pillow. However, the package that we are going to use to generate this QR code, which enable us to join the Wi-Fi network consists already of this dependency. So we can take a look at this package. It's called Wi-Fi QR code generator. And as you can see, the dependencies over here are pillow and QR code, all right? So we, what we need to do is to simply install it. So I'm just going to copy this Wi-Fi QR code generator, and then I'm going to quit the development server from running. and pip install Wi-Fi QR code generator. Let's wait a few seconds. Okay, the package has been installed. So what we need to do right now is to override the safe method. So if we go back to our Django project below the string repre representation method, we can write save and then self arcs and keyword arcs. And then you just super save arcs and keyword arcs. All right. And now we can bring in our Wi Fi QR code generator. Let's uh, put it in below the import of models. And we can bring in the generator itself within the safe method. And basically what this does is it, it returns a pill object. So over here we can also assign it to a variable. Let's call it QR code. So as mentioned before, the Wi-Fi QR code returns a, a pill object and it takes in some parameters. So here we have a network name. And we have false, which indicates that the network isn't hidden. Then we have the security protocol and the very complicated password. I'm going to change the very complicated password to secret password. And then what I'm also going to do is to bring in Slugify. So from Django and then utils text, utils text. I want to import import slugify okay and then i'm going to slugify the name because the name can be the room name for example uh wonderful room 
or it can be the room number, for example, 200, oh, 202 or 201 or 100, okay? So if it's going to be a name like wonderful room, I want to slugify it, okay? So let's put in slug is equal to and then slugify. And then here we are going to pass in self name. And let's generate this uh, QR code only once. So let's do a check first. If not self QR code, then we are going to run this. Okay. So then we are going to create a slug. And this slug we will use over here in in the network name. So we are going to pretend that we will have the Wi-Fi as a constant and then whatever the room name is. And instead of passing the self name, we are going to pass in self, not self slug, sorry, but slug. Just like this, okay? And I missed a quotation mark. All right, now everything seems to be all right. So. Uh, what we will need next is the file name and we will use a slug over here as well. So in our Django models, we can actually bring in back the QR code. And we want to save the QR code that we are going to generate inside of this image field. And we need to give it a proper name. So let's set a variable fname as file name or maybe if you want, it can be iname or iname like this. I'm just going to write it like this, f name, and then this is going to be an f string again. Then I'm going to put in QR code, and again slug, and then dot png. All right. Now, one thing that you need to understand is that we can't save a pill object directly into an image field. That is literally impossible. What we can do instead is to create a file-like object and we will do it based on the QR code. Uh, for this, we will use the IO library. So to be more specific, we will use bytes IO. So from IO, we want to import bytes io all right and then we can create this file like object as mentioned before so we can set a variable buffer is equal to bytes bytes io all right and now we can refer to the qr code save we can pass in the buffer and specify the format to png okay but there's one step more because we need to save this now into the field QR code field and how to do this well we need to import a content file from Django core files base so let's bring it in and, and then I'm going to explain a little bit more so from Django core files base we want to import content file all right so having this um, now we need to assign self qr code so as you can see we are referring to the field in our room class and we can assign content file to it all right so with content file we create a new file object that can be used to save the image to the model. And we will use the buffer that you see over here, and we will call the getValue function, and we will retrieve the contents of this buffer object, okay? So buffer, bu buffer, get value, okay? And then we need to specify the name, all right, and this is basically it. Now we should be able to save our QR code into the self QR code, so into the QR code field with the use of content file, 
with the use of bytes.io. So this should work and we will find out shortly by saving the models py file by running the migrations python manage py make migrations python manage py migrate and python manage py run server okay and yeah, there's one more thing left to do we need to register our models into the django administration so from dot models we want to import room and then admin site register room all right room and yeah now let's find out if this works or not here are the rooms let's try to add one test room and here is our QR code. So by scanning this QR code, we should be able to join the network. And this QR code is now stored in media QR codes, okay? So here it is. All right, so I'm going to try to scan it. And you can see the results so it's in polish but it basically means join the network and the network name all right guys so this is it for this particular video i hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one take care and bye bye